Hey everyone, uh, Salesforce Schwartz here. In this video, we're just gonna talk about serializing and deserializing um, basically JSON or Apex code. So we can probably just do all of this straight from the anonymous window. Uh, let me just make this a little bit bigger. So first thing we're gonna do is, let's just create like a basic account. So we'll just call this account ACC equals new account and let's give it a name of uh, da, 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 da. my account uh, da, da, da. Oh, one. yeah it's probably not the best name but okay I'm just gonna use that so next thing we want to do is basically to serialize it um, serialize will sort of put it into like a JSON sort of format um, so I'm just gonna call this just create a new string called the serialized and here all we want to do is do json dot serialize so once you hit json dots you get a few different options so json dot you'll see all the different stuff so you can do deserialize serialize everything from here so we're just going to serialize this object that we've got okay so just put that in there and go boom and next step is all we need to do is put in a little system debug um probably don't even need the quotes we're just going to put our serialized string in there and let's see what happens log will stay open and go debug and cool now you can see it's serialized our account so if we had more info um obviously it would have more more values in there but yeah, that's a nice, easy way to um, serialize your your object. All right, so let's go back to our anonymous window here. So now that we've got that, uh, let's, let's do a deserialization as well quick. So let's go string. Actually, the best way to do this is let's go in here and just copy basically what we've got here so uh, do, 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 do. well actually we'll do something different let's go string serialized um, let's remove all of that stuff we had before so now we're just trying to do it basically the other way around so I'm just gonna go Da, 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 name the syntax for this kind of stuff can always be a little bit confusing or it is to me at least so let's call this one account serialized and put our closing bracket there I think that is sort of correct and colon so yeah we've okay yeah Sort of makes sense. We've got our single quote, single quote, so everything's in a string, and then now we've just got our basic name, which is fine. Now the next step would be to create an account, and let's just call that account. Now we'll do JSON dot deserialize. So for this one here, let's use the. Let's just have a look at our options here. Do, do, do. Let's try and use the first one. So we'll put our string in here, which is serialized. Ser Obviously, did not even spell that right at all. Hey. Do, 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 do. I think that's correct. I don't even know. Serialized. I think that's right. <laughs> All right. But yeah, we'll just leave it as that. So um, back to what we're trying to do. So we put in our string there. And then all we want to do here is just put account dot class. Hit semicolon. And let's do our little system debug here. System dot debug. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And inside of this, let's go ACC dot name. Alrighty, so let's give that a shot, see if that works. 
go to debug and all right cool so account serialized so yeah that's how you can basically deserialize and serialize um, JSON code uh, if you found this video helpful please subscribe and check out our other videos so yeah as you can see we've got our account name there and yeah that is pretty much it